we're not doing sterile because we're just doing a pre-scan, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and first place the ultrasound probe in a sagittal, sagittal cut. So remember that the fluid is going to be dependent, right? So we're going to want to try to place the needle in a dependent location. You're more anterior currently. All right, so we want to find a location where there's a pocket of fluid that doesn't have any solid organ or bowel uh, close to the peritoneum, right? So you got a room, you got a pocket to stick the needle in the most dependent location that you can be in, right? Because if you just drain the top, you're going to get below your catheter. So you want to go kind of as far down lateral as you can, like a sagittal cut, right? Almost like a fast exam. Okay, so if we look right here on the ultrasound machine, if you come up north towards the head, all right, great. So we see the kind of posterior bit, here's the liver, mm -hmm. and all this black or in ultrasound terminology, anechoic fluid here is the ascites. That's what we're looking to drain. And we can see bowel with omentum kind of waving in the ascites. All right, there's a window shopping, right? Doing a window shop here, trying to find where's gonna be the best place to go, but as far posterior as possible to maximize the amount of fluid that we can get, right? So, come a bit superior, cephalad, right there is great. So let's take a look right here. Hold that spot for me, okay? So you can see right here, measuring from the probe surface to the peritoneum, 1.97 centimeters. <coughs> you don't even get into the realm of stuff that you can poke. Really, I mean, if you were to stay on this plane, it'd be 14 centimeters. Well, the needle's only 7.25 centimeters, right? So you could bury the needle without hitting anything. But let's just assume that you got a little bit off target and we're over here, okay? I just want to say the patient looked at you uh, a little askance. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna. We're not gonna hit anything. <laughs> we're not gonna bury any needles. We're not burying any needles. <laughs> I want to know if you're gonna be in that skin before you start. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna have that all taken care of. All right. So you can see, seven point two five, seven and a quarter, as long as you're going straight in. Okay. Right. So what I like to do, hold that spot right there. Slide up, suffle just a bit. I want to stay away from this, right? So we're really gonna go in about right here. So I'm gonna go. Have you slide a little bit posterior? So we're gonna go about right here. So you normally mark your... Um, yeah, I'm cooking. just doing it, and we haven't sterilized it yet. We're, I'm, I'm marking it with the pen. You can take the probe off. So that's the spot that we were at, I'm marking it with the pen. I'm just going to hold some pressure. I'm sorry. It's just the pen, and the actual ballpoint tip is not out. I'm just using the circular portion. So you're making an indent in the I'm skin. making an indentation in the skin, exactly. Okay. That works really good. Um, we're going to give you another medicine. I know it. Now you first, just gotta get y'all clean first. It's right there. Lost it from the angle. Right, right there. there. Got it. Skin oh, wheel man. first. Uh -oh. Big prick. I'm sorry. This is for a big one. You go straight in and aspirate until you get peritoneal, uh, until you get a Alright. So you get a little bit larger needle uh, and then aspirate uh, now. And keep it uh, uh, until you aspirate until you aspirate fluid. Um. Are you injecting as you're going in? Uh. No, there's a fluid. Now pull back just a bit as you aspirate. Uh. Now stop. You're not able to aspirate anything, right? Nope. Not deposit anesthetic there. That's the peritoneum. Uh. The peritoneum is the part that is also very painful. The skin and the peritoneum. So you want to get both the skin and the peritoneum to try to minimize the pain with the pr procedure. Also, too, you get an idea, another idea, other than the measurement we just made, how deep you should go before you expect to get through it, right? Barrel towel. Beautiful. Okay. So there's two ways that you can take the fluid off. You can use the vacutainers, and those are actually going to 
Um, you're going to use this tubing right here to puncture the needle into the vacutainer and it'll suck out the ascites, right? But we're not using the vacutainers today, we're using the pump system. So this tubing right here is useless to us, so we're going to drop that on the bed, get that out of the way. All right, we're going to use this tubing right here and this bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this set up. Oh, unfold the tubing so we can show everybody. All right, so this piece of the tubing with the Christmas tree on it is going to plug into your bag. And it's going to plug in at the top. Plug it in tight. Good. At this point, make sure that you clip the bottom of the bag. Look at the bottom. If you don't clip this, it's going to run out everywhere. So clip, clip that. Make sure it's clipped all the way down. Excellent. Good. All right. So unstring your, unfold your line so we can look at it. It's going to have a Y to it. All right. So this has got two one-way valves on it. Your syringe that we're going to use as a pump. These are two one-way valves, right? Two one-way valves. Your syringe is going to hook up here. And this lure lock is going to go on to the catheter, the pigtail catheter that you leave behind. So when you pull up on the syringe, it's going to suck the fluid. Show them the one-way valve. Unstring it. It's going to pull the fluid through this one-way valve. And then when you press down on the plunger, it's going to push it through that one-way valve into the bag. Okay? So go ahead and show them how the setup is. Good. All right. So you would pull up on the plunger. This would be hooked into the catheter. Yep. So you pull up and down, up and down. So you've got that all hooked up. You can leave that off to the side now. Okay, so let's pull out our pigtail. We've already anesthetized the patient. So this is going to be our pigtail catheter with introducer needle. It comes pre, at least in this kit, pre-hooked up to a 5 ml syringe. All right, so it's got a plastic sheath on the outside that you're going to need to take off. Excellent. All right, so once we're going to basically hold this down at the end, and remember, we're about two and a half centimeters before we get fluid, okay? Not sure what that mark, that mark's about two centimeters, okay? So you should be getting the fluid about the time that you get to that mark. So you're going to go ahead and support the needle down by the skin and advance the needle through the skin, and once you get it going you're going to hold onto the syringe and aspirate as you advance so you're choking up on the needle so to speak so yes. that it doesn't just suddenly slip away and exactly you know, driving right in right so once we're able to aspirate fluid and we're also choking up on the end to keep it from bending if you hold it way back at the back that's good it's going to bend okay so you want to support it up high okay and we're going to actually hold it down here and your syringe is going to be back behind you and you're going to push it in okay and uh, now I want you to just pull back on the syringe about not the, the, the whole apparatus and the needle. Hold it at the hub. There, there. Don't pull it all the way out. Don't pull it all the way out because once you pull it out, it's done. You won't get it back in. But it, a lot of people think that it disconnects here, and that's not true. It doesn't disconnect there. Okay? It does not disconnect there. It's got a three-way stopcock right here. Whatever it's pointing to is off, so it's pointing off this way, it's on this way, so you can aspirate fluid. All right, so make sure your lure lock is always set that way. Now, the first thing before you place your catheter is to make a small skin incision with your uh, scalpel there, right where you place your local anesthesia. Did you? Okay, that's good, perfect. All right, now go ahead with your needle, just like I was telling you. Now, with the needle, as you're advancing this, make sure you're parallel to the ground. All right? Because that's the way we did the ultrasound. That's the way we found the pocket, remember? So go ahead and advance that. The whole apparatus. Do you get a pop? Advance it just a touch more. Now aspirate. Nothing? Okay, keep going. You may need to choke back a little bit on the needle. There is fluid. Now advance it another, I don't know, half centimeter, a little bit more, because you can't offload it just yet. Keep advancing. Excellent. All right. Now start to feed your catheter in. All right. But make sure that if you pull it out right now, you need to leave some backbone for your catheter. Hold on. Yeah. Leave some backbone for your catheter. So 
you're kind of going to advance a little. Make sure that it offloads nice and easy. All right, so that it doesn't. Is it going nice and easy? Good. Now, slide the needle out as you advance the catheter forward. Now, the catheter is pigtail, so it shouldn't do any damage. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Perfect. Perfect. You kind of use the needle like a Seldinger technique, right? Now, pull your needle fully out. Excellent. Now your catheter is in. Drop your catheter, go ahead and hook your lure lock onto your offside. So this has got a valve. The port that's to you has got a valve, so it's not going to flow back. So take your needle, excuse me, your um, lure lock on your bag and hook it. Hook it over to your, to your uh, stop cock. Excellent. Now go off towards you. Excellent. Now pump the pump the syringe. You should get a fluid return. Into the syringe. There we go. Might want to come on this side, might get a good idea. Now when you press that, it's going to go into the bag. Perfect. And now you get to stand there. Two hours here. And evacuate the fluid. <laughs> you doing good? You didn't want to go home tonight, mm -hmm. did you? <laughs> was, it, was it bad? <laughs> Wasn't too bad? Yeah. We want to take some for sample. Well, it's, up to, it's up to the Dr. Mellick, whatever he yeah, wants to sell. Wait till we get there. Yeah, we Let's go ahead and straighten out your bag. Yeah, we can take it out of the bag, too, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can totally do that. Well, that's why I brought you a few basins here. So once you fill this thing up, you can empty into your basin. Looks like a fine beer, you know? <laughs> the patient said nothing's going to her. So go ahead and disengage that. Good. Put your needle, and then you can put it in your CBC tubing, and then all your three other tubes. Just be very careful with the exposed needle. <coughs> so that's a vacuum tainter. So once you pierce that, it's going to be very, very careful. Once you pierce that, it's going to automatically fill. that and you got your other ones now what I want you to do now is okay. lay your lay that down and recap Good. And remove that now you can just use your regular syringe to fill up those three tubes Gently slip the thing. You got a four by four ready? Right here. All right. So. You got a band aid over there. 